Hello guys, Country here at uh, Country's Customs. Um, just wanted to do this video, I had a number of y'all asking for it, um, on how to eliminate the batteries in your quick charger. Um, you know, I don't run LiPo batteries, I, I mean I like them, I have nothing against them, I just mainly can't afford them. But, uh, but this mod's quick and easy, and it will allow you just to have a plug in the wall charger that charges faster and makes your batteries last longer. Um, first thing you need to do is take the battery plate off your quick charger and there's going to be four screws. There's going to be two here and then two actually down in the battery tray, one here and one here. Once you do that, you'll pull it apart and this board that is right here will be right here and that has four screws on it and it'll have your positive and your negative wires soldered to these points here which are for your battery contacts. Well, next, you find just an old power adapter. Let's see if I can focus in on this. This is a, you need a 12 volt output and it has to be DC with at least a 500 milliamp output. And that's about the identical on what your quick charger does. And the second thing you need is one of these small project enclosures from Radio Shack. I think it costs like three bucks. Nothing to it. And uh, you'd have to drill a hole right here wherever you want to mount it for the LED where it usually is in your quick charger. So you drill the hole and as I'm shocking myself with it touching the board, <laughs> but uh, as you, you drill the hole and then hot glue that around there and then you take your positive and your negative wires that were to the context of the batteries in your quick charger and you attach them to the uh, power adapter. It's very important you, uh, you do the uh, polarity right on these. Um, my camera's not good enough to focus in. Normally, um, the positive wire coming off of here will have is the wire with the writing on it, and the negative is the wire with just the lines on it. But I found out with this one that it's backwards, so it's really important you put a meter on this and determine the polarity. If not, you'll fry your board and have to buy a whole new charger. But uh, that's it. You just simply, you know, you glue that in and uh, drill a hole in the side for your wires to come out. And one in the bottom of the enclosure. And then one for your wires up top. And then close it and screw it together. And then you just plug it in. And I've got a battery somewhere. I'm just going to show you how it works. This is the battery I use. It's a... Uh, three cell cordless phone pack it's only 3.7 volts but 600 milliamps and I get about 45 minutes to an hour run time on a full charge and uh, I have to do this real quick with the phone so, one second. and just like your quick charger and uh, now this will charge your micro batteries also I also charge my cell phone battery that I've got in my high lift Dodge, and it uh, even though it's uh, this is the lipo, but it's the uh, the other the lithium ion battery, but uh, charges it just fine even though it's the cell phone battery is a four four volt and uh, charges it just fine. Um, the board varies voltage slightly. I've noticed if you if you put a meter on it, there's a two little holes in here and when it's charging put a meter on it and see it'll increase and decrease voltage but uh, just same as the quick charger um, like I said it just plugs in the wall so using batteries saves you a bunch of money especially if you're like me and don't use lipo batteries but uh, that's it uh, if you guys have any questions just uh, contact me on the forum and uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can uh, really simple mod really cheap I've got yeah Get the power adapter from Goodwill for like 99 cents, and uh, like I said, like two to three dollars in here, and then just your stock quick charger. And uh, this battery here, I paid three dollars for off eBay, and uh, you, which you can get cell phone batteries like that, which are four volts for like two and three dollars. So it's a really good, cheap, and easy mod to do. But uh, thanks, guys. Again, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know.